the French Institute of Istanbul displays a photography exhibition called Vegetal Fantasy. The premise of the show is reminding people of the climate change and the urgent help the nature needs. Spread over the Institute's garden are French photographer Jeff Lille's flowers with their digitally enhanced colors. When I asked him why he tempers the natural lighting with the coloring of the nature, he says he's merely using the tools of the 21st century to tell its story and that he found out people respond much more positively when they're captivated by bright colors. When I, I show you uh, a picture of, of a tree, you see a tree and that's all. You see, oh, the, the light is beautiful, but it's a tree. If I change the color, you see another dimension. You see more colors than the tree. But when you give the association between the colors and the tree, you see another thing. One plus one is three. The reason why people resonate more deeply with digital colors is very human, he says. Leal thinks that's because colors are strongly associated with emotions and that the language colors and emotions speak is a universal one. He adds that in today's deteriorating climate, we need to care about nature now more than ever. So he's taking whatever measure needed to raise awareness to the issue. Don't forget, plants come from one billion years before. Maybe the plants are our ancestors, the most old ancestors of all the human beings, all the human, uh, all, all the life in the world. For this reason, we need to respect them. We need to love them and we need to re-nature with this, the trees, the plants, the flowers, all the life. Leo thinks in order for people to start respecting the earth, they need to see the planet in a different light both figuratively and literally.